today we're going to be installing a Chevy S10 Badness on the Nissan D21, the hard body. The balance is from a Chevy S10 anyway. I think it's like 82 through 89. It'll, I think it's supposed to tuck under yeah, it like that. Yeah, it'll, it'll have to tuck like that. Yeah. But we'll have to do it like that to have the reference holes. So we're gonna swap headlights, uh, radiators, and we're gonna install the valance. This truck has Honda S2000 shocks installed right here, or like hood. What are these called? Hood, hood struts. struts. Yeah, hold it open. So D21 people, y'all can do that. Shit. It's pretty dope. This one also has a Honda S2000 antenna right here. Fits, it's like direct bolt-on, I think, so. Honda S2000 parts, some of them fit in here. Uh, this one has Acura Integra seats too. So it's basically Honda. Honda seats, Honda shifter. So daily, so a little dirty. Yeah, Honda Integra stuff fits in here too. We, we had to bolt, we would drill our own holes and like, Put washers to level them out, but it's pretty dope. No, it's already. Might as well use the impact. You fucked it up, bro. <laughs> it's almost. No, it's about to be stripped. I don't want to strip it. Got it. Mm -hmm. Nice. We already got the headlights swapped out. Yeah, I think they're HIDs, so that's why we have to run this little relay, which we just use the self-tap in right there. And the other one is right there. Now, we're doing the radiator. So, you see this? This little nipple. Peacock. It's called a peacock. It's called a macaw. A macaw. All right. So yeah, we're gonna take this shit off and drain it. And then we're gonna drain this one too. Hopefully it fits in there. We're out here early morning, Monday. We finished the radiator swap last night and the headlight swap. So these are Robert's new headlights, which are my old ones. And, oh yeah, you gotta pull it. I, I, I broke that tab by accident, bro. It just. How the fuck you even replace it? This is all the part. I think you just pop the case off. 
I can pop this shut. Drop it a little bit. Oh, motherfucker, look. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we replaced it. And the easiest way was just we unplugged everything and we ended up swapping brackets yeah brackets so just took it off like took everything apart took off the brackets and then just boom took these put it in mine and then put mine in there we swapped headlights too which i like how yours looks with the lights new headlights which are robert's old headlights and here's the aluminum radiator uh, looks fine, man. We just bolted it in right here and we zip tied it right there to both sides. This is a nameless, right? Oh, fuck. It's uh, a nameless. Amazon, Amazon or eBay special. Yeah, Amazon, I think. But it actually fits really good, bro. I didn't, I don't think there was any issues with fitment. The Valance. I ended up um, since I have this bumper, I don't know what year it is, but it's super skinny. Like if you look at mine, it's, it's tiny, it's, it's and if like you look at Robert's, than... it's big and beefy. This one's really skinny, so I had to mount it a different way. Maybe it'll help some people. What I did was I went to the center of the bumper. There is a bolt down here that follows this bracket that you see behind the grill. There's a bolt that's like right there and I use that to line it up. I just drilled a hole right there and then I zip tied it because this comes with the hole centered already. So I zip tied it there. Then while that was being held up, I went over here and I kind of pushed these up under the bumper to tuck in because it has like some, it has some plastic, you see it? it goes all the way over here. So I tucked that in under it all the way around and I just pushed it up and made a hole on the plastic and zip tied it to the OEM hole. So I zip tied the shit out of that side, tucked it all in, and then zip tied the shit out of this one with some big ones and it, it held on pretty good. It does look a little bit, um, I guess like it's tilted this way but it doesn't look that bad. And I didn't have to cut. I probably should, but I think we're gonna try to fix the fitment so it's a little bit more flat with this. I kinda want it to be flat. So yeah, we're gonna try to do that. But I think this works. On the black truck that we have and we took to that drift event, it's also mounted like this and it's not cut, so. There is a way to mount them without cutting them um, and they don't look that bad. But on his, we're gonna cut it, so.
right, so to mount the Valens, the Chevy S10 Valens 1982 through 1989 that fits on the D21s. Um, people usually mount, like I think they measure an inch or two, two and a half or something. They drill the holes and then they cut the leftover. But for us, um, we're gonna drill a hole right in the middle of this bumper. And this already has a hole right in the middle. So we'll use that to line ourselves up. And then we'll drill the holes on those two sides to match um, the OEM holes. So yeah, you can see that'll look good once it's on there. The rest will be easy to match up. We're gonna use uh, these we got at AutoZone. Little, what is it, a screwdriver, right? Or is it a hex bolt? A uh, hex bolt with a screw. No, it's a screwdriver guy. head. So Phillips head screws and the little locking nut. <clears throat> Hopefully it works. A set we got at AutoZone with license plate fasteners, but we're gonna use it to hold up the bumper. And some of these uh, these bonded washers. I'm just gonna eyeball it, bro. Yeah. I got this random chalk marker. Dude, we could get a measuring thing if you want. No, it don't gotta be perfect. No, just eyeball it. What do you think right there? Yeah. Oh, look, there's a... forgot about this. There's right. a bolt we can use to kind of align it. So I guess I just kind of have to figure out where this hole is gonna be. So like right here, and then it's kind of like right there, right? Mm -hmm. see? Right there. Mm -hmm. So that shit has to be like way over here, bro. Yeah, the whole has to be right here. Pretty far ahead, like up here. So I'll try, let me see. Um, I say like right here. I mark this little star. The very middle of that shit. Or you can kind of line it up too, where you could see the bolt. It's a little more. To the right, but I think that's the general area where it should go. No, because I don't have this space like that now. To hit it at an angle, bro. Yeah, at an angle? Alright. Wait, wait, wait. Make sure you line it up straight with this bolt. Like, that's the general area, but you know what I mean? It's right here? Yeah, that's just straight in the middle of that bolt. So use you the can bolt or use your mark, guys? Use my mark and the bolt. Okay, I'm gonna just send it right here. No, no. Alright, fuck it. Wait. A little to the left, bro. My left? Mm -mm, yeah, this, that way. Yeah, right. that's better. Right here? That's better, yeah. That's it. What did you put it on up here? Put it on the screw, bro. I told you. I did put it on the screw. No, you're on one. I thought that was the way. Okay, no tiene huevos at the pinch of drill. So you're running the fucking in the impact one. Yeah. 
Yeah, click that shit up there. Bring me some flavor or something. Yeah, I gotta go with the bigger, with the little bit bigger one. All right. All right, so I thought it was like a quarter inch, but I guess not. Oh yeah, there we go, perfect. All right, here, I'll hold this up for you. Damn, I should not. It's gonna be a bitch, though. No, it's not. Huh? I gotta get my hands up there. Because so it's, it's perfectly lined up. Just hold the bolt off, then hook. Oh, hold wait. the bolt up with your finger like that, then hook it on like. Well, we gotta do the screwdriver one down here, remember? Yeah, we'll just get a ratchet back there. Yeah. There's room. Oh, oh fuck. Yeah, I didn't think about that one. Neither did I. But I think we got it though. We're fine. I think if we take these off, we can do it. Huh? If we take these off, we could do it. Maybe we can just zip you just want to zip tie them? We can just zip tie them down, I don't care. I mean how are you gonna zip tie that though? No man. You just stick it in. Oh fuck my Dijoa. Yeah, never mind. Just do it, try it. I can't get it. Have my hand with it. I can't I can barely fucking fit my hand back either. I can't here, let me see them. Your fingers are skinny like little gold. Alright. So we got it on there. It looks kind of janky. Looks but just kind of pops out. Like but it's it. really yeah, it's legit washer and everything. Nut. <laughs> so what we had to do, we couldn't fit our hand under there. So we had to take this off. It's just two bolts right three, here, right? Three, three. three one, yeah. two, three. Yeah. All right. So we had to take off this one, I guess. One, two, three. We got in there. It was a 10, so we used a little wrench to hold it and a screwdriver to just. So yeah, it looks good. Now, we're gonna pick it up right here. And sort of drill a hole right here to match up with this and just bolt it up right there <sighs> looks slammed bro with the balance mine has it on too mine does look a little like tilted up they look fine Nope, I want it to look like this. Straight down? Yeah. I told you that's how we So let's fix it. it. We'll fix mine right now. We so yeah, we can left that, like we did it, just bolt up in the middle, lined it up, and then we zip tied these with the OEM. So we just drilled a hole in right there where you see that white mark, and we zip tied it. Just looks real good, so now we're gonna cut this straight down with the Dremel. So yeah, here, let me try it. gonna kind of go down here straight down here this line right here what do you say yeah maybe you should turn your tire to the left and give me like more room to get me
Oh, he's gonna still bust off right there. Bust it off. We still got some to go down here. Break it off? No, it's kind of a weird angle, huh? Is that your full lock? Yeah. I'm gonna have to just break the zip tie off. You know what I mean? Yeah. Smell like burning plastic, huh? Yeah, we might have to. Do you want me to try? Yeah, you have to move it. No, you're gonna have to move this. The other way? There's no way this should. Hey, hey, you're good, you're good, you're good. So we got her cut up. Um, we just kind of eyeballed it and just cut straight down. And now we're taking some really fine sandpaper and just sanding the edges down a little bit, smoothing it out. This side's already done. So you can see, it doesn't look that bad. It's like three, four fingers maybe. Probably three, I'm skinny so. looks really good and it's on there pretty pretty tight so this is the way we mounted it with cutting it and this one was mounted with no cutting um i just kind of bolted it on there i mean zip tied it up here i had done the same thing where i lined it up here and zip tied that but yeah mine's tilted forward because we didn't cut it and my bumper's different. So we're gonna try to see if we can fix it right now to look a little more like that one. But yeah, that's how you mount a balance. Dremel and a drill basically. With the, with the Dumbo and the pallet sticker and your registration sticker all expired. Chill out. <laughs> So we fix this one, we cut it, we try to make it straight, but we can't because of this little bumper. I don't know what this bumper is from or what year, but it's tiny. So to make it like fit kind of flush, we had to mount the zip tie in here. I'm more likely to get pulled over. To the like support thing right there. And it looks pretty good. And Roberts obviously look dope. So, yeah, that's how you do it. Pretty it's pretty basic. Just one bolt holding it up right there that we got at AutoZone. 
<laughs> and zip tie right here to the it's like the OEM hole on the fender and we just zip tied it right there cut the rest off with the Dremel and then we sanded it down to make it look smooth so Matthias sit sit Matthias Matthias sit So we got kill figure here. All right. We're also gonna do a valance or lip, whatever you wanna call it on his. And his had a, when I bought this truck, it had this one. I think this light just went out, bro. Just ate, he just ate it. Fuck it. You got this one. His is gardening edge. What is it called? It's just gardening edge, right? That's yeah, literally what like it is. Some, some and somebody track. just drilled it up into the actual like bumper support. It looks like what you what you with some self tapping screws. The material you use for like a deck chair or something. Yeah, yeah. You could see the like the little fake wood. wood. Yeah, yeah, the fake wood grain. <laughs> it doesn't look bad though. No, yeah. It's but we want it to look like that one. We got kill figures, balance mounted up, looking pretty dope. His bumper's a little fucked up over here, but it still came out sweet. We just zip tied it right here, dremeled it off, and we mounted one bolt in the middle, which we lined up with these, and there's a bolt behind. And it looks good. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do a Chevy S10 Valance on a D21 and some other shit. Down, it slows you down, goes you out. Slow down and do it my way. <laughs> <laughs>